Hey everybody, it's Brian, and welcome to the 26 C++ tutorial. Um, I was kind of going through my inbox here. You can see here's my, my YouTube page. And I had a new comment from Donut Sucking Machine 2. I love that name. That's hilarious. It says, Hi Brian, saw your C++ by value by reference video. It was very helpful. I wanted to request you upload an elaborate video about dangling reference and dangling pointers for beginners. That's actually a very good question. So you know what, Donut Sucking Machine 2, this one's for you. All right. Did a quick search on Google. Uh, dangling pointers. What are they? Well, dangling pointer. If you go to Wikipedia and look it up and read the whole article, it will tell you that a dangling pointer is a pointer that points to a position in memory that's no longer valid. Meaning you had a pointer to an object. That object got deleted, but the pointer still points to that memory. And there's a couple brief examples here, and I'm going to go through one real quick. All right. Here's our template. You can see we're doing include IO stream using namespace std. We have our int main, and it's just the simple boilerplate we've been using here. So we're going to go int, get int. So we're just going to make a function that returns the address of an integer. We'll say int num, and we'll just say one, two, three, four. There's our number in memory. And we're going to return the address to that number. So we're going to return a reference to it. And just for the sake of argument here, let's add a few things so we can kind of trace what's going on in memory. Let's say reference. Whoops. All right. So we're going to print out the address of where it is. Let's actually print out the value to A very simple function just returns the reference or the address. Remember the, the ampersand is the address of, we call it the reference. And then down here in int main, we're just going to say, uh, we'll call this pointer just so we know what it is. And we're going to initialize that to zero. Remember, you should always initialize your pointers to zero. And we'll say, let's see, what should we say here? Empty. And let's copy this. So we're just going to print out that the pointer's empty. And then we're going to assign the pointer. A little copy and paste magic here. Now remember our, our get int function simply returns the address of this integer right here that we're creating. All right now we want to verify this is in the same spot so we'll say assigned and what that's going to do is going to print out the pointer so it should print zero and then it'll print some memory and location and then we're going to actually print out the value of that too because we want to see what it what it equals here so let's point to that memory location save our work now quick review once again we have our function get int which just returns a pointer so we're saying here's our integer we're going to print out the reference location the value and we're going to return the actual address and here is where we're returning that address right here. So we're assigning that pointer. And then we're going to try and use that pointer for something. And this is actually a rather interesting topic. And that's part of the reason why I wanted to do this video. It's uh, something that throws a lot of people off. And it actually causes a lot of bugs in professional programs. And it's a security vulnerability. I'm actually quite a security nut. And dangling pointers are a very, very big deal in security right now. Because you have a pointer that's pointing to an invalid location in memory you can do things with that pointer and manipulate the program. So anyways, without further ado, let's run this. And it compiles links. Okay. Empty. This is our initial pointer. See how it's all zeros? That means it's not pointing anywhere in, in memory. Here's the reference. That's where we create that variable. And the value is 1, 2, 3, 4. So, so far, everything's what we expect. Now we assign it. Notice how it's the same memory location, this 0045 FB70, same memory location, but when we go to print out the value, we get this this junk. What is that? Well, that's invalid memory. That's a dangling pointer. 
you're sitting here going, but we haven't deleted the pointer. Let's explain what's going on here. You have to go back to our conversation about the stack and the heap. This is all being done on the stack. We're creating this variable on the stack. Once we hit this return, yes, we're returning the address in memory of this number, but this is automatically deleted by the compiler because it's on the stack. Remember, everything in the stack, once it goes out of scope, let's actually put this here, out of scope. Once it goes out of scope, it's automatically deleted by the compiler, meaning all these variables and all these things on the stack no longer exist because the stack is completely wiped clean and then it moves back here. So remember, this is the stack, then it jumps to this, at which point this becomes the stack. Then the context of execution jumps back down here and this becomes the stack. So once you jump out of get int, this number no longer exists even though you have the memory location. So you have a dangling pointer, meaning it's pointing to a memory location that your program is no longer using. The, the object in memory that you used to use has been deleted. So I hope that uh, clears up some of the confusion. I would actually go out to the Wikipedia and read that full article. It's a very good article. Um, one thing you should know is there are some guidelines out there on programming. For example, you can go to Google and type in Google C++ coding standards or coding guidelines and they'll actually detail how to avoid things like dangling pointers. So this is Brian. Uh, thank you for your feedback. I hope you found this informative and I hope I answered your question fully. Alright, thanks a lot.